market is different than it was just a few months ago. If you're thinking about selling your house, that may leave you wondering what you need to do differently as a result. Hi, I'm Michael Wynn, a retired Marine officer and a local real estate agent with Century 21 Award. I would like to welcome you to my channel. And if this is your first time to my channel and you want to know more about real estate in the Oceanside area, then tap that subscribe button below. If you ever need any help selling or buying a home, I would be honored to help. The answer to selling a home in this changing market is simple. Take the time up front to prep your house appropriately and create a solid plan that can help bring you the greatest return on your investment. Number one, and I think the most important, price it right. Let me repeat that, price it right. One of the first things buyers will notice is the price of your home. That's because price sends a message to home shoppers. Pricing your house too high to begin with could put you at a disadvantage by discouraging buyers from making offers. And on the flip side, pricing your house too low may make buyers worried there is some underlying issue or something wrong with the house. Your goal in pricing your home is to gain the attention of prospective buyers and get them to make offers. And with price growth and buyer demand moderating, as well as greater supply of homes available for sale, pricing your home appropriate for where the market is today has become more important than ever before. But how do you know that perfect number? Pricing your home isn't a guessing game. It takes skill and expertise. Work with a trusted real estate advisor to determine the current market value for your home. Number two, keep it clean. It might sound simple, but keeping your house clean is another key to making sure it gets the attention it deserves. As Realtor.com says in the home selling checklist, when selling your home, it's important to keep everything tidy for buyers and you'll never know when a buyer is going to want to schedule a last minute tour. Before each buyer visits, assess your space and determine what needs your attention. Wash the dishes, make the beds, put away any clutter. Doing these simple things can reduce potential distractions for buyers. For more tips, check out this checklist for preparing your house for sale. Ultimately, an agent is your best resource for tailored advice but this list can help get you started. Number three, help buyers feel at home. It's important for buyers to see all the possible ways they can make your house their next home. An easy first step to create this blank canvas is removing personal items like pictures, awards, and sentimental belongings. It's a good idea to remove any excess furniture to help the rooms feel bigger and make sure there's ample space for touring buyers to stand and look at the layout. If you're unsure what should be packed away and what should stay, consult your trusted real estate advisor. Spending the time on this step can pay off in the long run. As a recent article from the National Association of Realtors explains, aging is the art of preparing a home to appeal to the greatest number of potential buyers in your market. The right arrangement can move you into higher price point and help buyers fall in love the moment they walk through the door. So what's the bottom line? Selling your house requires prep work and expertise. If you're looking to sell your house this season, let connect so you have advice on how to get it ready to list, how to help it stand out in today's shifting market, and more. I'm Michael Wynn with Century 21 Award, and if you found this information useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Remember, you too can win with Wynn.